Hello all. In today's video, we will see how to use Google Meet for taking online classes and also for uh, video conferences. We have already used uh, Skype, Cisco Webex, but Google Meet is also very useful. And Google Meet uh, for using Google Meet, if you are using uh, it from a browser, you do not need to install any application there. However, you can use Google Meet for using Android application also. In today's video, we will see how to use Google Meet application using app and also without using app. So you can use it from your mobile and you can use it from your laptop or desktop also. In today's video, we will see both the procedure in a step by step manner. And uh, there are different options like you can share screen, you can share a particular application, you can share uh, windows uh, with the help of Google Meet. And also uh, it's a quite useful application um, that can be used for online teaching. So I hope this uh, tutorial will be helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Hello everyone. In our today's video lecture, will see how to use Google Meet application for taking online classes and also for conducting video conferences. Google Meet we can use with the help of a mobile application or without using a mobile application right from internet browser. So in today's tutorial we'll see both the procedure and we'll see the steps uh, in a detailed manner. So first we'll discuss how to use Google Meet uh, with the help of mobile application. For doing so, first we'll have to go to the Play Store of our mobile and we'll have to uh, just type Google Meet there and we need to install the application. Here in my mobile it has already been installed, so here the open option is being shown. After installing the application, we will just have to click on the open uh, tab as it is being shown here and we will proceed to the next step. After we click on open, this screen will show. Here as you can see, this microphone, you can just switch on or off your microphone. Similarly, you can switch on and off your video camera, whether you want to be visible or audible or not, you can choose from there. One plus sign is being shown here, you will just click on here if you want to create a new meeting. And your old meetings also will be shown here, like two old meetings of mine is being shown. If you want to join to that old meeting, you will just click on rejoin tab. Otherwise, if you want to uh, no start a new meeting, you will just click on this plus sign and a new meeting you can start there. Okay, so after you click on plus sign, you will get to see the next screen. It will be like this. A new meeting will be created and as you can see meet.google.com slash your meeting code is being shown here. This is the link for the meeting and it will come with a share option. If you click on share, the right hand side options will be shown to you. You can share it with the help of WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger or you can just simply copy the you know, uh, link to the clipboard or you can mail it. You can share the link of your meeting with the participants of the meeting. That means you can uh, share it with, the, um, with your students before conducting an online class through WhatsApp, through Facebook, through email or uh, through whatever means you feel comfortable in. So this is how your meeting link will be shared with the participants. Next, when you will share the meeting link, the participants will click on the link and they will be um, you know, joining to your meeting. 
when they will join try to join your meeting first you will get one um, you know joining request as you are conducting the meeting you will either let them uh, join in to the meeting or you will not let them join in your meeting so it will be up to you you can admit them uh, so that they can join your meeting here these students i have shared the link with these uh, students whose name are being shown here then they have made a request they just simply clicked on the link and one request was made so that uh, they want to join to the meeting and i have uh, allowed them to join in the meeting now after the students uh, joining the meeting like this as you can see they will be shown in your meeting Uh, so these are the these way it's a very simple procedure um, your students or the participants will be joining in your meeting and after that okay uh, there are many other options also like in the left hand side as you can see three dots are being shown it will be shown in the in your mobile screen in the top right corner three dots will be there if you click there the these options will be shown what are the options as you can see switch camera then turn on caption stop presenting basically here when i have taken the screen shot i was already presenting the screen that's why it's coming stop presenting otherwise present it will be shown like present present option will show so what are these options for the first one switch camera will let you either select the front camera of your mobile or the back camera it's understood self explanatory next one is turn on caption what it will do you can make it easier to follow what's being said that means whatever you will be told you will say in the meeting if you turn on caption it will write the same thing okay it will show the text of the conversation that means the participants can see it will just convert whatever you are saying into you know text next one is present here it is showing stop presenting it will show present present option it will let you share the screen you can there will be three options you can either share your entire screen or you can share a particular window or you can share the browser that means what is share your entire screen that means uh, suppose you are opening a particular website and also you are showing your powerpoint you are just making both of them whenever you uh, want to show the powerpoint you are switching on the powerpoint switching to the powerpoint and if you are uh, going to show the in a particular website you are just uh, shifting to that website so whatever you are uh, doing that will be shown in the screen so when you are sharing your entire screen uh, that will be shared with the participants of the meeting what is a particular window suppose in your uh, mobile or in your desktop you are showing a python programming so you can just choose a particular window that means your python editor you can uh, share with the participants and next one is a particular browser uh, you can choose so we'll be going into the detail of all these three sharing option but before that we'll be uh, also discussing how to you know use google meet application without actually not installing any applic app first we have discussed how to use google meet with the help of a mobile app and the next procedure is without installing application right from the browser how you can use google uh, google meet so we'll go to the next part you will just have to open a browser and you have to you know uh, sign in with the help of your google id that means your google email id and then simply will just type meet.google.com 
you do not need to install any application here mid.google.com you will just type here and then here it will give one option like uh, it's being shown start a meeting so you will click here if you want to start a meeting and if somebody else is uh, they have already started a meeting somebody else has already started a meeting and you want to join it then you will just put the meeting code here and you will join so both the options are being shown here see the first one is start a meeting and the second one is enter meeting code and join so here we ourselves is starting a meeting we will just click on start a meeting and it will let uh, take us to the next uh, no, slide here the next slide it will show you meeting ready join now so we'll click on join now here also two options are being shown you can switch on or off your microphone switch on or off your camera okay you will just click on join now after that this is the screen that will be shown after you join to the meeting first it is showing see uh, the meeting uh, information that means the link of the meeting it is being uh, shown here so you will just have to copy it and you will just have to send it to the participant of the meeting uh, you will just need to share it uh, with the students uh, whom you want to uh, have in your particular meeting next is as you can see there is a option one minute yes there is a option c present now okay so you'll just click on present now it will give you these three option you can present uh, in the right hand side it is being shown you can share or present your entire screen you can share or present a window or you can share or present a chrome tab that means three different options are being there okay so the first one is your entire screen if we just click on the entire screen this particular uh, option will come here i am sharing my entire screen in the entire screen i have opened the website of your, our um, uh, vidyalaya so it is being shared with the participants and also in the right hand side you know the, it as it is sharing the entire screen so the presenter also being visible here okay as you can see so this is the option when you want to share your entire screen if you minimize this particular website and if you open a powerpoint presentation so that will be shared with the participants so whatever thing you will do in your screen um, you know desktop screen laptop screen or mobile screen that will be shared with your participants and here there is a option stop sharing you are sharing your entire screen and if you want to stop share you will just click there stop sharing next one is your window a particular window here you are not sharing your entire screen suppose you have opened a website you have opened a you know um, word document and also you have opened python editor here like i have opened here but you want to share only your python editor so you will just click on window and you will choose the particular um, no, um, window that you want to share in this case i have shared the python window so here in this window whatever you will do that will be shared with the students that will be shared with the participants but it will not be the entire screen will not be shared with them here also the stop sharing option will be there so you can uh, do stop sharing whenever is needed so here we have chosen the second option we are sharing a particular window and here the third option a chrome tab that means only whatever you will do in that particular internet browser chrome tab that will be shared okay not the entire screen not any application only particular application that is your chrome tab will be shared here like uh, i have in chrome tab i have opened uh, youtube and some computer animation if you want to share that directly 
from your internet browser if you want to share something live uh, with your uh, students with the participants you can do that so here we have chosen the third option that is a chrome tab so this is how you can uh, share the entire screen share a particular window share a chrome tab so whatever you want to uh, do you can do it from here if you want to show something you know step by step writing or painting you can just simply open the choose the second option and open a paint and you can paint it there you can write it there that will be shared with the students so this is how um, this you know once again i am showing all this is from present now option sharing screen options we have discussed so this is how you can share screen you can uh, share window these three options you can do and the last one is how to end the meeting you can click here to end meeting definitely this is being shown so you will just click here to end meeting so there are two ways of using google meet with the help of a mobile app that also we have discussed and without using a mobile app that also we have discussed i hope this class uh, this you know tutorial was helpful to you thank you very much